Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will show you how to fix Call of Duty War Zone that's stuck on check for update. As you know, the Battle.net client automatically scans for updates for all the apps you installed on your PC when you open it. Likewise, Warzone also scans for available updates when you launch it. Most of the time, the updates will be downloaded and installed automatically, but it seems like some gamers got stuck on the loading screen with the message checking for update. If you have this problem, then here's what you should do. First solution, force close Warzone and reopen it. When it comes to update issues, the first thing you need to do is to stop the game and then reopen it. Most of the time it fixes minor technical issues, and that might be the only thing you need to do. Here's how. Press the Control, Alt and Delete keys at the same time. Click Task Manager. Look for the Modern Warfare service and click on it. Now click on the End Task button at the lower right corner of the window. After doing that, launch Warzone from the Battle.net client. If it's still stuck on the Checking for Update screen, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, check your internet connection. Another thing you need to do is to check if your computer has a stable and fast internet connection. All updates, however small or big, have to be downloaded and you need to have a stable connection to be able to do that. A service like speedtest.net is enough to tell you if this problem is due to a connection issue with your computer. Log on to speedtest.net or download the app. Click go to begin the test and wait until it's finished. Once results show, compare them to the download and upload speeds that you should be getting. If they're way lower than expected, then that's probably the reason why such a problem occurs. For connection issues, try restarting your router or modem. You may also want to call your internet service provider and have the problem fixed. Third solution, scan and repair Warzone files. After doing the first two solutions and Warzone is still stuck on the same screen, then it's time to get its files scanned and repaired. The Battle.net client can do that for you, all you need to do is initiate it. Here's how. Launch the Battle.net client. Click Games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, click the gear icon next to the play button. Click Scan and Repair, and then begin scan. It might take several minutes to complete, but wait until the client is finished doing its thing before launching Warzone. If this doesn't fix the problem, then move on to the next solution. Fourth solution, update through Battle.net client. If Warzone keeps on updating when you open it, and gets stuck on the same screen, then you should try updating it before you open it. You should let the Battle.net client do the job instead. Here's how it's done. To update the game, launch the Battle.net client. Click Games and then click Warzone. At the lower left portion of the screen, click the gear icon next to the play button. Click check for update to see if there's an update available. If there is, then try to update the game through the battle.net client. Once the client has finished updating Warzone, the game should work perfectly after that. Fifth solution, reinstall Warzone. If all else fails, your last resort will be to reinstall the game. This means that you have to uninstall it from your PC and then re-download it. It might take an hour or two before you can play it again, so make sure to try the previous solutions before doing this. Here's how. Launch the Battle.net client. Click Games and then click Warzone. At the lower left corner of the window, click the gear icon next to the play button. Click Uninstall, and then click Yes Uninstall to confirm. After the game is removed, restart your computer before reinstalling it. And that's pretty much it. The game should run perfectly on your computer after this. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you one way or the other. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you enable the notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching.